Hello everyone, I'm going to be starting something new today. Something that I've never done before, and that is a Super Mario World hack. I never finished one of these on camera, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a really, really awesome looking Super Mario World hack here called Super Mario World Hacks 101 by Tails155. I'll link to his channel and uh, the hack in my video descriptions for these videos. Uh, so you can go check him and uh, hack out if you're interested in this sort of thing. But otherwise, just uh, enjoy the video and just be in awe of these awesome level designs. While the levels are indeed really, really easy... Um, whoops, why am I skipping the house? The, <laughs> the point of the levels is to show off what you can do with um, the hacks. Like, it's a tutorial on how to use Lunar Magic effectively, how to make a good hack and stuff like that. And even using like vanilla palettes, I mean, I mean vanilla um, graphics like this, um, what he does is he changes palettes and he makes all sorts of crazy stuff like uh, this rock formation over here, these diagonal rock things. It looks so very nice. Um, it, it just is a hack that while it was designed to be a tutorial to show people what to do and what not to do, it, it, it just looks so awesome. Whoops, I, I accidentally clicked the button. And uh, yes, they can float. But yeah, plants do look really weird if they're just floating in midair. So that does look a lot better if you just attach them to something like that. I noticed that myself in a couple of hacks. And there's a dragon coin. And oh, there's a turtle. And uh, definitely, the oh, what the? Oh, I actually fried the shell as I was throwing it by mistake. You know, I, I, I let go of the Y button and I immediately... Uh, released it to uh, regain my momentum with running and I accidentally threw a fireball at, at the shell. And uh, here's a little platform floating in midair. Now doesn't that just look nice? It just looks so nice. It doesn't look like it just, it's not like, it's not like it's a flat block. It's got like diagonal tips to it, which just adds to the overall appear of flo appeal of floating platforms. It just looks like that it belongs. It just looks nice. I shouldn't say it It looks like it belongs because there's no such thing as a floating platform in real life. But in the Mario world, there could be. And that, and that looks pretty nice. Uh, next level is Tester's Help. And I got a ram save, I guess, there. And... Wait. Oh, this music. It's from uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. And hit the text box. Whoa. Make sure not to put midway point bar. Yeah, that definitely don't do that. Because uh, they'll be off. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. They'll hang off the screen. And what will happen is that you won't be able to collect them. You won't be able to touch the edge of the screen. Like, see how I'm walking against the screen. If you put a dragon coin over there, you wouldn't be able to collect it. Or a midway point. Here, come over here, Wiggler. You, out of my way. Yay, there we go. That was a very ex extremely difficult obstacle there. That I just did not know I could uh, bypass there. And I do not know what this means. Because I, I never really used Lunar Magic that much. I only tinkered with it a few times just to mess around with it, just to see how things worked and stuff like that. It's pretty fun to mess around with. Uh, but I, as I said, I don't know that much about it, so I guess that might help the people who do know about map 16 and stuff like that. Oops, I'm supposed to do this and then climb the vine like that. Oh, and oh, I could have just, yeah. <laughs> I could have thrown it all the way up at the top or each each of those platforms. And look at, look at just how nice this looks. Just look at the diagonal lines. It's just so beautiful. Full. And green, are these, yeah, there's green coins in here. Do they have a different value? Yeah, that the green coin just gave me five coins there. Oh, shoot, did I just land on a spiny? I think I just landed on a spiny. Whoopsie. Okay, we're back somewhere over here. This time I'm not going to land on it. Oh, I just landed on another spiny. What the heck is wrong with me? I guess I could have used the springboard if I would have remembered to bring it over there. Whoops. Uh... I'd really like to show what's up there, but eh, I don't feel like going back now after I just replayed the first portion of the level, even if it is fairly short. Yeah, these, these stages are really short, but they're really well designed. I thought that was going to be a high jumping Koopa from the way it entered into the screen there. And that's the level. Um, hold on just one sec here. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm using Cam Studio to record this, and if I record more than like... 
six, seven minutes at a time, the file gets corrupt. So I'm, I'm cutting it off like every five minutes or so just to be safe. And then just combining two parts of the same video, I mean of the same session, so to speak, into the same part. Uh, so what the heck? I just jumped right over that. That was just so dumb. And like a palette on a stage like this, it just ch uh, changes the overall feel of each level like if you have a nice palette like this for each level it just looks so nice and i think the player will notice use guides where necessary coins can indicate something below avoid blind jumps yes yes coins definitely are very nice for um pre preventing yourself from jumping into like a death or something when you're dropping down from somewhere uh, where's huh i don't see any cutoff over here maybe I don't know, man. It, it looks fine to me. Maybe he's not demonstrating the cutoff over here. He's just showing what it looks like to uh, have good, um, good level design lines, whatever you want to call it. I, I'm, I'm not, as I said, a, a designer, so I'm not very savvy in that department. And there's a Yoshi! It's typically best not to require a player to throw me off a cliff to complete some jump. Why not? <laughs> These, these critters are expendable. They just keep breeding like crazy. You see eggs coming out, out of all of the place. Ah, oh, no! I just fell right in the hole. I panicked there. Dang you, turtle. Oh, you pop out over there. Okay, we're back over here. And here's the turtle that caused my demise. Well, actually, that was me because of panic. And why am I panicking anyway? These stages are easy, but they're very well designed. I don't, I don't mind uh, easy hacks as long as they're really well designed. But I hate hard hacks because it's just like uh, I don't like to abuse save states in uh, games. I just, you know, kind of got the habit of uh, playing games legit by rarely ever using emulators. Uh, use. Yes, I do not know what that means either. Uh, uh, someone will probably tell me in the comments there. Oh, what the heck? You weren't supposed to knock me off of Yoshi. I was supposed to bounce on your head and I was supposed to run along on my way, Charlie. Yeah, I just had to use that re <laughs> reference. I pressed, I pressed up to grab on the vine and I was like, what the heck? Why didn't I grab onto it? Oh, there's a mushroom up here. <laughs> okay, now I'm just playing horribly. Okay, let's get serious here. Get the mushroom and get out of here. By the way, this looks pretty nice up here. You got uh, like these diagonal tree branches floating in the midair with moss, which is, uh, which is kind of like these platforms here, but it looks kind of like moss on those tree branches, which again looks really nice. I just I just can't compliment enough how nice this hack looks. I mean, just look at this. There's little berry trees floating in midair. There's branches connecting to it. There's these little two platforms you can walk across, but they're actually attached. Just so nice. And you see, there's the nice coins pointing you to where you should jump down to. Don't be afraid to add blocks using the block tool. The effects are nice, even when subtle. Yes, I did notice that uh, uh, some little additions are... Uh, to the original Mario graphics are in certain hacks, and I think even this one, um, I'm not actually seeing any right now, but I'm sure I, I will notice something later, and ooh, we got, now we got some vine time here, and avoid the Koopas, dropping from vines, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh never mind, <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a very good vine climber. Actually, to tell you the truth, it's because I'm not really used to this controller. I'm used to playing Super Mario World on the uh, Super Nintendo controller. Well, anyway, I think that's about it for this part. So I'm going to cut it off here after, as soon as this level inch, or thingy ends. So I'll see you guys later. Woo! Next screen.